Good morning, this is Simon Webb, Artisan, uh, live online at the Bath Artisan Market. Uh, we've got some utterly fabulous traders going live today, so I suggest you all, you go and check them all out. I'm just going to show you a few of my products, the sort of thing I do. So I, I make um, writing instruments uh, and gentlemen's jewellery. So I make pens, I do uh, pens, roller balls, fountain pens, ball points, and mechanical pencils. Um, I use all sorts of interesting woods, some beautiful exotic burrs, some wonderful um, English hardwoods, and where I can, some historic timbers. So I'm using woods, for instance, from Abbey. Um, I'm doing some work for the National Trust with Sir Isaac Newton's apple tree, which is quite phenomenal. Um, all sorts of beautiful things. So I'll, I'm going to show you a, a few of my products. We'll start with um, my favourites, probably fountain pens. So this is a this is a, a rhodium plated uh, fountain pen finished in Amboina burr. So uh, let me just take this off for you. Amboina burr comes is a wood from Southeast Asia. It's just beautiful. So this is rhodium and gold plated. Uh, the, all the fountain pens they take a standard international ink cartridge, but they also come with a piston adapter, so you can use them with beautiful bottled ink. German nib with rhodium tipped. Uh, medium width but we can fit other nibs if you like that was a fairly big uh, big desk pen there's a slightly smaller version um, of that which is a bit more manageable in every other way it's exactly the same it's just a bit uh, it's just a bit smaller um, again that one is in Amboina Burr uh, roller balls I really love these roller balls because they are um, they use a ceramic ball refill um, they use a water-based ink, so they write incredibly smoothly. People are blown away when I hand one of these pens to them and let them try them out. So it's exactly the same as the, the fountain pen. It's at the front end, so this takes a uh, a very high-quality Schmidt ceramic ball refill. And again, that is that's available in a in a slightly smaller version as well. One thing I do like doing is mixing materials. Um, I love contrast. I love the contrast between the, the metal, the precious metal, and the wood. But I've just added another uh, bit there. So this is an Amboina Burr cap on this pen, and the body's made from synthetic resin. It's used in places like museums if they've got to um, repair something made of ivory. Obviously, they can't use real ivory, and this is this is what they use. It's so close to ivory in terms of colourings and patternings. Um, these are some other uh, other. Uh, roller balls so as well as woods I use acrylic resins this is a lovely one called uh, orange crush velvet resin again this is a this is a rhodium plated really really high quality um, ballpoint and another one this one's a bit uh, a bit deco I think so that's got a beautiful sparkly cap and again a synthetic ivory um, body and the ballpoints uh, this has been one of my most popular ballpoints. This is uh, this is quite amazing. It's called um, rainbow wood. So it's a man-made wood. It's layers of birch. Each layer has been dyed a different colour, and then it's laminated together. And I make pens and um, cufflinks. Oh, those I'll show you the cufflinks in a bit. Uh, this one's a rather uh, a blingy, rather beautiful pen. Again, in Amboina burr. This one's got a little Swarovski crystal set into the, the clip. That's in gold and chrome. Uh, plating. Then this one's a really nice modern contemporary feel to it. That's uh, again rhodium plated. That's English walnut. Um, I've got a huge dress of woods that I use. This is just a you know a very small part of it. I'll just show you some of the cufflinks uh, briefly. Um, so there we go. That's one of my most popular cufflinks, and uh, that is in fact it doesn't show up very well here. That's rain there we are. That's reindeer out there from Norway. Now I hasten to add we don't hurt any reindeer making these because they uh, they shed their antlers naturally every year, um, and then that's the uh, the rainbow wood cufflinks I was on about. So um, I'm doing free postage at the moment while coronavirus is is rampant. I'm doing free postage. So um, if you want to go and check out my Facebook page uh, or my website is simon-web.co.uk. Get in contact with me. Let me know if there's anything you're interested in. The other thing I do is um, let me just pull up a, a picture. Of, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> the other thing I do is a lot of bespoke work. So people sometimes supply me with a wooden object that's got some sentimental value to them. 
and I turned that into pens or cufflinks for them. So the last one I did was a hammer handle. In fact, I learned several hammer handles that belonged to somebody's grandfather, um, and I turned that into a, into a beautiful ballpoint pen for them. So I've had lots of tool handles from um, you know relatives. I've had bits of wood from people's you know tr trees from people's gardens, all sorts of things. So I really enjoy doing those. I love working with wood that's that's got a story behind it. So that's me. Go and check out all the other wonderful traders uh, who are live today um, and have a fantastic day and stay safe. Thank you all.